Uh, hey everyone. So if there's one question I get about Six Stuff video more than any other, it probably has something to do with a multicam setup that is recording the same subject from two or three different angles to sort of limit occlusion areas, or using multiple cameras in different rooms and recording simultaneously. If you go back and look at my early videos, I did do an experiment pretty early on where I had recorded four different attached rooms and played the point clouds back at the same time. And I had come to the conclusion that it wasn't really viable because the video playback wasn't good enough and it was just too noisy. It seems to be a pretty popular subject though, so I decided to go back and take a look at it. And um, so I'll just, we'll go into Unity here and we'll take a look. So the first thing I did was switch to AV Pro, which is a different video player than the included Unity video player. And the performance is a lot better. So that solves the problem of playing four videos back at the same time. So I'll just hit play here and you'll see that this looks pretty familiar if you've seen that old video. This is um, four different rooms all put together and you can see there's a lot of points just floating around as I move the camera back and forth here. Um, there's just a lot of noise, and it's really hard to even see what's going on. I'll switch to the scene view here and just kind of move the camera around a little bit, and you can see how noisy it is. If I go over here and look at the point cloud script, you can see it's playing back at 2048 by 2048, which is over 2 million points, and there's four rooms, so that's over 8 million points. And if we look at the frame right here, you can see I'm still getting 120, 125 frames per second. And I'm also recording this video too. So, you know, AV Pro helps a lot. So I'll show you what the issue here. If I turn off all of the point clouds except for this first room, you can see it's not noisy at all. It looks fine. It's only when I turn the second room on that you can see it's very noisy and there's a lot of repeated information that isn't really helping. And the reason it's not helping is because the color is different, because the exposure of this inside room is different from the outside camera. And also, it's just, um, you know, the depths aren't as accurate as the ones having been recorded in this room. So if you look at the couch here, you can see there's a couch. But if I turn the first room back on, the first room is far more detailed, and the second room's the outside room isn't adding anything at all. You can see if I turn this on and off, you know, you, you, don't, you really don't want those, those points at all. They're not helping anything. So what I did was, um, I'll go ahead and switch the shader here. Um, I wrote a different shader that has these clipping planes. And um, so each one has two clipping planes. And if I turn these point clouds off, we'll just look at the first room. And you can see the outside isn't being rendered anymore. If I zoom out here, you can see there's sort of a, a cutoff on these two sides. I'll just move the plane. You can see very clearly that I can adjust it and put, you know, however much or little of this camera's vantage point I want to include. So I'll just cut off the outside here. I'll move it a little bit and show you the other clipping plane also. So I just have to adjust it to cut off the other rooms. And when you do that for all of the rooms, then you can play back all four rooms at the same time without the noise. And I think it looks pretty OK. And you can very smoothly transition from the inside to the outside. Go back into the first room here. And then go into the bedroom area over here and, and go into the bathroom also, why not? So these are all just four different camera viewpoints. And so this shader just sort of ignores all of the you know extraneous points. So um, you know, let's just go ahead and look at this in VR real quick. And here we are in, in VR. Everything's playing back fine. And I just wrote a real quick um, script so I could just you know move around a little bit from room to room. As we go outside here, this is sort of the limit of this camera's vantage point. But you can tell we'll get to this second room or you know the outside room, and you can see it's a lot more detailed. Then I'll just go back into the first room here. I'm 
And I'll just sort of, you know, move from room to room. You can see there's still um, some depth errors, obviously. You know, this is only as good as the depth maps, but, you know, I think this is very cool. You have to keep in mind, there's no modeling, there's no photogrammetry, no LiDAR, no scanning. You know, it's just, just video. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, um, share this video, subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, if you have any questions. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.